Okay, so translations. It says translate the triangle shown by this, what we call your column vector. Okay, so this is a column vector. And we've got 5 minus 3. So with a column vector, right, the top number tells you how many we move across. Okay, and it depends then whether the number is positive or negative in terms of which way we go. And in this case, it's positive, so that means we move to the right. Okay, so we're going to go across by 5. All right. The bottom number then tells you how many we move in the vertical direction. Okay, so we're going to go along the y sort of direction. Now, because it's minus 3, obviously then because it's negative, we're not going to go up, we're going to go down. So we end up going then down 3. Okay, that's why we've got minus 3 there. So what we could do, we could actually trace this shape to see where we end up at. All right, now I traced this shape earlier, so you can see here I've got my tracer paper and I've traced it. And literally then, when it says 5 across, okay, we literally could move this tracer paper across by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So I've moved it across 5, but we're not going to draw anything yet because I've also now got to move it down 3, haven't I? I've got to move it down 3. 1, 2, 3. And that's where my shape is going to end up, okay? So I can draw that there and I've translated it across 5, down 3. Now, if you haven't got tracing paper, what you can do is just focus on the corner points, okay, corner points, and move them, move the corner points. So in this case here, let's do the top corner point. Let's move it across five. So there's the corner point there, across five. One, two, three, four, five. So that's across five squares. And then down three. One, two, three. So I end up there. Okay, so if that was slightly confusing, I'll, I'll do um, another corner point. So that corner point, let's take that across five. One, two, three, four, five, and take it down three. One, two, three. So I end up there. And then the final corner point, that one there. So across five, one square, two squares, three squares, four squares, five squares, down three, then one, two, three. So we end up here. So it's in the same position as it was when um, I. shifted it with the tracing paper. Okay, so you can see that there, yeah? Across five, one, two, three, four, five, and down three, one, two, three. Okay, so when we look then at question two, it says the diagram below shows a teacher's sketch of uh, transformation. What is the name of this type of transformation? So you just need to appreciate, okay, the, the topic we're looking at is translations. This shape hasn't rotated, it hasn't rotated in any way, it hasn't enlarged, doesn't got bigger. Or smaller okay it's just been shifted so we the type of transformation here we would say is translation okay so we need to say it's been translated so we put translation down to describe that type of transformation it's important that you remember that term